looks like is they used a tool to cut this out and reach around and they were able to have access to open up the door. General Manager Lisa McFerrin showed us the hole in the bay door behind her Scottsdale Midas shop where thieves busted in around 12.30 Friday morning. She says the crooks spent hours stealing everything in sight. A transmission, tools, car parts, an AC machine, a compressor, more than 50 tires, and the list goes on. We're a small business and we all have families to feed and I'm sure they did too. But you don't have to take something from someone else. You work hard just like we all have. Scottsdale police spent the morning combing for clues, but the damage was done. Not just to the business, but the employees as well. Enrique Milo has worked for Midas for 27 years fixing cars. He says all the mechanics here have their own tools, and the crooks who broke in stole them all. I've never been in this situation, so I don't know what's going to happen. I just, I just know that right now, I, I don't know how I'm going to feed my children. I don't know what we're going to do to fix cars. They literally took everything from us. Arizona's family has learned this Midas shop off 90th Street in the Loop 101 freeway had a pipe leak about six weeks ago that caused a lot of damage. We're told the business was in the process of remodeling, which forced them to shut down their security system and surveillance cameras temporarily. It's likely whoever broke in knew the cameras were not operating. If the alarm system was working, the second they tried to get in, they would have been spooked and left. So it, 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 it was an unfortunate circumstance from an unfortunate circumstance. It's unclear right now when the business will be able to reopen. A lot will depend on whether the mechanics get any tools. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help the workers here get some new tools. Customers, when you have an emergency, they got to get in. They got to get their car worked on. Our doors are closed now, so now we can't work on cars. So, you know, now we're going to lose customers because of that. And, um, and now this affects our, our future, um, not only short term, but long term future. Since there was no video surveillance, detectives don't have a lot of leads to go on. The hope is someone from the public will come forward with information and they'll catch these crooks and get all the stolen stuff back. In Scottsdale, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family. Thanks, Jason.